All right, Cancer. It's going to be a reading for the sign of Cancer going into the month of February. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome here into this reading. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and moving on. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right, let's get two messages. So you got deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what you feel is right. Okay, what else? The cancer, please. Oi, oi, oi. Yo, no one, no, that never happened with anybody. Okay, new beginning. A uh, new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So there's some type of a new beginning here. I don't know what this is. Only you guys will know what this is. In your heart, you already know the answer. Do what you feel is right. And then you got my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Okay, and then you got power. I, You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no. Excuse me. Or to walk away at any time. Excuse me. So some of you guys have... <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, some of you guys have... A new beginning here and you also have somebody who I feel like you may share a deep connection or a bond with uh, but in your heart you already know the answers to whatever it is that you're trying to figure out power you instinctively know what is right for you cancer you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time okay so don't don't keep yourself stuck in a situation that you know is not right for you whether it's with this new beginning or this past situation that's showing up here Yes, this could be somebody that you love or maybe somebody who you may be connected to spiritually, physically, mentally, whatever. But you may know that this may not be good for you. You already know the answer. So I don't know the answer. You know the answer. Okay? All right. Let's get four cards. What else is going on with my Cancerians? In the beginning of February, please. Y'all be sure to hit the like button if this message resonates with you. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, information will be in the description box below. You got need time to heal. Right now, I am in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you. This is about me. We got attached to my ex. I am attached to my ex emotionally, physically, and or spiritually. I need time to break this connection. Again, you may know someone else is connected to an ex. You may be connected to an ex. Someone here, whether it's you or the other person, is like, I need time to heal. This isn't about you. This is about me. Okay, we got unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. Some of you guys may not know how you feel about this connection any longer. Okay, you feel like home. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace and then nervous on the bottom. You make me nervous. Even thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What do you guys got on your hands, Cancer? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get a few messages. This is from the Hearts Hidden Secret. Spirit, what else do you want to tell Cancer about this reading? What else do you want to tell Cancer about this reading, please? Um, spying, social network information and ways. So you could be spying on someone. Someone could be spying on you through social media if you have those platforms. You got return or there may be other means to spying because this says ways. Like someone may got ways. <laughs> ways to spy on you, Cancer. You got chasing pursuit, toxicity, and resilience. So someone here may be uh, chasing some type of pursuit or some type of toxicity. This is like runner track star resilience. It's like someone's good at, I don't know. I'm not going to feed into that. We got return, second chances, opportunity, and making amends. So someone here may definitely want a second chance with you, Cancer. But in your heart, you already know the answer to this. You may already know that someone here just likes the chase. Okay. I like to chase things that aren't good for me. Chasing, pursuit of toxicities, okay? Or you know that this would, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you know, but all right, Cancer. Let's see. What else? You go shocking, turmoil, trouble, and unexpected. So something here may be shocking or come as a shock to you. This could be about someone's return, okay? You may be shocked, like, why are you here? Why now? Because someone here wants to... Someone's been spying. They're wanting to chase something that they know. Yeah, exactly. Ecstasy. Chasing thrills, excitement, and a good time. You may know that someone here is only here for like a short time, a good time, and not a long time. All right? Just saying. So, in your heart, you already know the answer. 
All right, so let's jump into the tarot. Let's see what's going on here. Cancer, I will read you on this side, uh, whoever you're dealing with on this side or whoever's, whoever comes through in this reading, because I do see something about a new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, so embrace the new beginning. You already know the answer to whatever this other situation is. Okay, show me Cancer's overall energy going into February, please. What is Cancer's overall energy, please? And the other person. Wow, two of cups, six of cups. Some of you guys are feeling nostalgic, okay, with the six of cups here. You could be missing someone from a past or you could be reminiscing about your past. You could also just be doing some inner child healing. Um, damn, <laughs> you have the two of cups. So there's a love connection here. I don't know if this is the new or the old with the six of cups this could be old you may be thinking about this person like this is my soulmate this is my love i love this person this person loves me um i miss this person all right or maybe you're in a new soulmate connection with this two of cups this new beginning maybe you're already in a connection and then here comes the past and now you're over here reminiscing thinking about the past while you're in a connection with this new person that could be a thing too okay show me cancer's emotions Going into February, what is Cancer's emotions? You got the Four of Swords. So I, you could be the one that's focusing on your healing, Cancer. Okay, this can also bring you some type of stress. You may think about something at nighttime when you go to bed. You may be like, ugh, can't sleep, thinking about the past, Six of Cups, Four of Swords. Um, I'm thinking of, <laughs> how's that song go? I think, about you, I think about you while I'm laying next to him or her. <laughs> I don't know, there's a song like that though. Show me this person. What is their emotions going into February? Yeah, what song is that? It's going to drive me crazy. Uh, show me this person's emotions, please. Moving into February. Thank you. All right. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, someone here may be wanting to propose or give some type of a grand gesture. This is a brand new opportunity. This could be this brand new love connection. This could be a new soulmate connection. And what are you doing, Cancer? Thinking about the past, huh? Four swords, six cups, thinking about the past. That's what it is. Show me Cancer. How's Cancer moving into February? Oh, see the Seven of Swords. You could be deceiving yourself. Why the Seven of Swords, Cancer? Why? Um, this can also be you just like kind of being, I don't know if you're being sneaky or your thoughts are being sneaky, Four of Cups. There is a situation here that you feel like you're bored, you're discontent with. Random. I got a private number calling me. Hold on. Definitely don't know who that is. Okay. So, sorry about that interruption. <sighs> Cancer. There's a situation here where you feel bored or discontent, or you may even feel rejected by something, or you may be thinking about rejecting someone. With the Seven of Swords, is how you're moving. You may be being a little bit sneaky or coming off as deceptive. Um or disinterested show me how this person's moving into February the Queen of Wands one more Aries Leo Sagittarius uh, this is a very confident like I know what the hell I want okay type of energy um, this is very passionate decisive focused driven so someone here has like tunnel vision someone here could be very attracted to you or this person could be very attractive. This is someone who's very decisive. They're confident. They know they know what they want. And Cancer, you're showing up as maybe someone who doesn't know what you want. You could be feeling like, whether it's this person coming in to offer you something and you're kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want that. Seven of Swords. You could be being a little bit like sneaky. Maybe there's something here you're thinking about from the past or someone. You're thinking about from the past what is cancer's intentions please again the roles can be reversed so flip the roles according to your situation this if it's not you it could be the other person you may know you want something with someone and this person feels like they're indecisive or like they don't know what they want or they're kind of like um showing up bored or, or like like uninterested in some type of way it could be because someone's thinking about someone from their past okay or thinking about situations from the past i don't know Okay, so show me Cancer, what Cancer's intentions, Six of Swords, what is this person's intentions? 
What is this person's intentions that's showing up in this reading? Ooh, you five of wands. This person may want to come in and fight for you. This person could be competitive or they, they know that they need to compete for you. Or they know that there's competition here. Your intentions, Cancer, Six of Swords. I feel like you want to move on. You want things to progress, move forward, and heal. Or you just want to move on and heal from a situation. Maybe there's someone here that you don't trust or you're just not happy with, but you can't stop thinking about this person. Okay, show me the outcome here between these two. Yeah, some of them may be, whether this could be a past person too, Cancer, coming in very like confidently, very passionately, being kind of forceful or direct, like, hey, like telling you, I want to be with you. I will fight for you. This person may even try to like start some drama or just make you feel conflicted in some type of way because this per the way that this person is coming in, it's like the Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. It's like they're coming in and they're trying to present like, Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, like, I want to be in a relationship with you, I want, I want this, da, da 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 like, they may be coming in, and if this is someone from your past who you, you're like, you got in your mind and your thoughts, and you're kind of feeling nostalgic about, but then the Four of Cups, Seven of Swords, it's like, I don't know, I, my intentions, I just want to move on from this, and so, but with the Seven of Swords, it's like, you, you don't feel... it's almost kind of like you're deceiving yourself, it's like, you may be thinking about the happy memories and stuff, but then, um, with the seven of swords, it's like you're being a little bit sneaky because this isn't really something that you're, you're, you want, but you're getting caught up in like some type of nostalgic thoughts because of the way that this person is coming in. Okay. Show me the outcome in this situation. Moving into, um, February. Show me the outcome. Y'all be sure to hit the like button if this reading is resonating with you. Show me the outcome, please. You got the Seven of Pentacles, so I see some type of waiting. Seven of Pentacles waiting to walk away. <laughs> Looking at all the time, the seeds, the energy, the investments that were made. And then you got the Two of, two of Pentacles. It's like you're kind of going back and forth in your mind on whether or not what decision do I make. Judgment is like something here is coming back around. And so you're over here like, I don't know what to do. I want to walk away from this, but damn, I do. I have, you know had a lot invested into this person or maybe you want to wait and see before walking away it's like i don't know if i want to walk away just yet and that could be the seven of swords energy that's in your energy it's like mm, i know that yeah some of you guys are on the fence of a situation it's like you know that like your intentions here is to walk away but there's something that's like kind of like you know that this situation, there is a lot of like regret or there's a lot of discontentment or you know that this cup isn't really what you want from this person, but it's kind of like the seven of swords is like a, you're kind of deceiving yourself because you're getting caught up in your thoughts or something. And so you're waiting to see, do I walk away? Do I not walk away? Or, or maybe let me give this some time and, and then I will make a decision. Two of pentacles can be a decision. And judgment too that we've seen can be a decision. A final judgment call. But the, with the two of pentacles, do I reconcile or do I walk away? Some of you guys are back and forth with this. You don't know what to do. Okay. Temperance. I Again, another card of like patience, waiting. Okay. Trying to stay balanced. Trying to manifest what it is that you truly want or desire. Um, and could be an emperor, could be an Aries, um, doesn't have to be, but let's see. All right. Eight of cups, ace of swords. Some of you guys know you need to walk away. Let's just be real. Some of you know you need to walk away. All right. Let's see. Why is the seven of pentacles here, please, for cancer and the outcome? Why is the seven of pentacles here? The hanging man. Yeah, you're waiting. <laughs> King of Cups. I feel like you actually love this person. A strong Pisces energy here. Some of you guys love this person. Or you have a lot of deep emotions. However, you may not be wearing them on your sleeve. You're just kind of waiting. You're trying to get a different perspective on this situation. Or you're trying to analyze something from a different point of view. Show me the Eight of Cups. Alright, the Ace of Wands and the Empress. Yeah, some of you guys are like, you. it's like, I know my worth. You know, I want something new. I want something brand new. I like eight of cups. I want to walk away to something brand new. I want growth, marriage, fertility, happiness, whatever this is. 
Okay, I want something new and exciting. And show me the two of pentacles. Tower, yeah. <laughs> so, you guys are back and forth in your mind or in whenever it comes to this decision. It's like, do I let this tower fall? Do I heal from this situation? Two major arcanas here. Scorpio, Aquarius, energy. It's like, you guys are going back and forth between like, do I heal or do I go back into chaos? This could end up being a tower moment for me or I could have wish fulfillment. Which one do I choose? <laughs> I'm sorry, Cancer. I'm not trying to mock you because I know love is a powerful thing. So when you have feelings and love for someone, yeah. It's like sometimes even when you know something could end like very terribly, you still can, especially Cancers, y'all live hard. So it's like you guys may be like, I don't know. That's what you're going back and forth about, though. Like, healing, wish fulfillment, or chaos, destruction. <laughs> I don't know. Choose wisely. All right, so you got temperance here. Why is temperance here? Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini energy I see out here. You got Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces for majors. Okay. Show me why temperance is here. The Knight of Wands. You guys are trying to temper your desires, I feel like. And trying to be patient. Maybe you're feeling like this impulsive restlessness. And you're trying to temper that. This could also be like tempering your desires, your lust, your your need to, to do what it is that you feel passionate, passionately about. It's like I'm trying to stay balanced here. But get down. <laughs> Okay, tell me more about temperance. The world, yeah, it's like, do I end this cycle of in and out, flighty, back and forth energy? Like, you're trying to make a decision here that's best for, like, your peace, your sanity, but the desire there to, like, jump back into a new cycle with someone is very desirable or strong. Show me the magician. The nine of swords. <laughs> <laughs> some of you guys are like what the hell did I just manifest like that's not what I was trying to create five of wands it's like some of you guys are like in your head because this person may come in like fighting for you you maybe feel like this person is trying to manipulate you but I feel like you're stronger than this this person can be very manipulative or they could be trying to like mentally conflict you with the nine of swords five of wands you know Manipulation, they're trying to like mentally conflict you, but you're stronger than this. You're stronger than this. You have the power, exactly. Power, you have the power. You, instinctive, you instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Cancer, I'm trying to tell you this person is trying to make you feel mentally conflicted by manipulating you. This was a clear ass reading. I don't know what to say. Um, let's get a few cards from here. Let me know if this resonates. Be sure to show your support and hit that like button. What else do you want to tell Cancer in regards to this reading, please, Spirit? What else do you want to tell Cancer? We got, it is always tea time. Eternity, endless moments, and repetition. So some of you guys want to end. This came out in the reverse. Some of you guys want to end some type of repetitive pattern. Okay? And you are rare and free. There are not many like you. So yeah, you're you're special. You're a catch, okay? You're rare and you are free. You have the choice to make whatever decision, you know, that is to free yourself from this situation. Or you can keep yourself stuck here in your emotions. Waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, you got falling. The unknown descent, momentum, and change. Yeah, some of you guys, I don't know, in the right way. Some of you feel like if you fall back into this, like you, your life would like descend or go down the right way, learning to create what you desire. And I, that's what this is, learning to create what you desire. And I feel like you have learned how to do that. And that's when these energies come back in to try to, you know, pick up where they left off because they realize what they left behind. I'm just saying, I love you guys so much. I hope that this helped. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.